Now let's go down to the man himself, absolute Ricky Starks. I can let you guys keep chanting that, but they'll get mad at me for going over on time. So here's the thing. <laughs> it ain't no secret these past few months, I have dealt with interference from JAS. Base, yeah. Baseball bats, people dressed up in a mask, being put through a table. And to me, the message is very clear, Chris. You do not want to have a rematch against Wong. And I accept that. I accept that the rematch won't happen. So I'm gonna be moving on from Chris Jericho. But what I have right here is an open challenge, an open contract for a match against me at Revolution. And as my theme song says, the revolution will be televised, so I'll be damned if I'm left off of this pay-per-view. So I know that there's somebody back there that is itching to get on this card. And guess what? Hey, I welcome you to come out here and let's do the damn thing, you know? I always think this is a dangerous thing to do, guys, an open challenge. And then so is it, is it gonna be Jericho or one of the members of JS? I'll, I'll play along. I, I kind of hope it's Jericho. Is it Jericho? Uh, it is Jericho. It's not suspenders, boy. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, that's a fancy jacket CJ's got on there. I like it. done with Chris Jericho, but Chris Jericho apparently maybe not done with Ricky Starks. I definitely don't think Starks expected Chris out here, nor did any of us I feel. I know I didn't, but I'm happy to see him. Over the, I mean, the last few weeks since Ricky Starks defeated Chris Jericho at Dynamite from Seattle. Chris Jericho on the Jericho Appreciation Society, as Ricky said, has just been tormenting Ricky Starks. Jericho really starts plenty of time to think about this. Yeah, he's got to listen to his song. That sounds great. He go really well. Great job, Phoenix. Now, Ricky Starks, I know what you're trying to do here right now. You're, you're trying to bait me into having another match with you. But let me say this. You say you're over and done with Chris Jericho. You're not over and done until I say so, okay? But I'm gonna tell you this. Count your blessings, Starks. You beat Chris Jericho. Congratulations. It was the highlight of your career. Take it and put it in a little box and put it by your nightstand and look at it every night before you go to sleep. Because it's never gonna happen again. Starks, I could beat you anytime, any place, anywhere, but it's never gonna happen because you are not at my level. So good luck with your little open challenge. I hope it goes well for you. Wait a minute here. Peter Avalon, pretty Peter Avalon, is answering the open challenge. Oh, my God. Judas effect with a spike jacket. What is wrong with Chris Jericho? That he would. Uh, I guess Avalon's not going to Revolution. He might be going to the E Auto. Wow. 
Oh, Avalon was going to... He was going to charge down to the ring. He was going to accept the challenge for Revolution. I think you're right about that. Shut your mouth, jackass! See what happens when you want an open challenge. Everyone's going to walk out here. You want Chris Jericho so bad. You can't have Revolution without Chris Jericho without the demo god. Maybe I should take that little contract of yours, Starks. Have a rematch with you and embarrass your stupid ass. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you definitely can go ahead and sign this, but I think we all understand what's gonna happen. You're gonna bring JAS around here. They're gonna come out. They're probably gonna jump me again, and that's all good and well. But I wanna ask you this. As the Chris Jericho, the first AEW champion, the guy who beat two legends in one night, hey, you did that all by yourself, right? I don't understand why you keep needing JAS. But unless you really think that you probably can't beat me, I just think that you have it in you to get the job done by yourself. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You're telling me that you don't think I can beat you one-on-one? -on -one? No, no, uh, no. Actually, you can. You can beat me. I genuinely believe that you can beat me. This is pretty darn cool, guys. You're damn right I can beat you. And I can beat you one-on-one, -on -one, Starks. I'm the great Chris Jericho. I'm the champion. I'm one of the best to ever do this. Of course I can beat lowly Ricky Starks one-on-one. -on -one. As a matter of fact, I would sign this contract. I'll even write an addendum that says the Jericho Appreciation Society stays in the back at Revolution. I would do that right here, right now. Except, uh, I don't have a pen. Damn. I do. <laughs> this is... Never before has bureaucracy been so exciting. <laughs> well, he's got no choice now. He's got to sign it. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I've seen this before. They popped on the click right of the right pin. The JAS must stay in the back, and I'm gonna sign your stupid open contract. Ricky Starks, you want it, you got it. Chris Jericho versus Absolute at Revolution. But be careful what you wish for, Ricky, because remember this. Nobody outsmarts the Ocho. Uh, I think we just saw that, didn't we? And I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, Ricky Stark. Stark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he got exactly what he wanted. <laughs> the match is signed for Revolution. Ricky Starks and Chris Jericho. That still comes to.